I went to my endocrinologist today. As some of you may know, I don't have a thyroid anymore. A couple years ago, or several years ago, I had my thyroid removed because of, of the potential risk of cancer. So I don't have a thyroid to help me support the rest of my body. So I'm on medication and I need to see my doctor every six months to check my thyroid levels if everything's in check. Now, three years ago, the last time I saw my endocrinologist, Dr. Ghazi, who is here in Maryland, and he said I can use his name because he said, tell your listeners intermittent fasting works. So here's what happened. Three years ago, he was 35 pounds heavier than he is now. And he says, Heike, you're in fitness, you're a coach, you teach nutrition, what should I do? And I mentioned intermittent fasting to him. And he said, okay, well, yeah, I talked to another client of mine and he did keto. And I said, well, I don't support a keto diet or eating a ketonic way, but see what's right for you. So he tried it out as I came back a few months later and he says, you know, I am from South America. I love to eat, I love to drink. And this was all too restrictive and it just did not work for my lifestyle. Besides, he says, all the foods I'm supposed to eat on keto are not, are so one-sided. I don't get a full spectrum of health as I eat that way. So I didn't feel good on this. And I said, well, listen, Dr. Ghazi, why don't you go and just start intermittent fasting and then start making little changes along the way? So he started skipping breakfast and with the pandemic, I haven't seen him in person, but he started to shrink and I said, what are you doing? And he says, I'm doing intermittent fasting just the way you told me, you know, baby steps. So today when I saw him, he looked like a completely new person. He showed me a picture from three, three years ago to now where he lost 35 pounds. And I said, Dr. Ghazi, what did you do? He says, you told me to do intermittent fasting and tell your people intermittent fasting works. So he said, I don't eat breakfast. I have two meals a day, but I looked at my blood profile. My cholesterol was way high. And so I stopped eating cheese and I cut way, way down on red meat. Occasionally I eat red meat, but not that often. He said, I also continue to start exercising. You always say you need to move. And so I did. Nothing dramatic, nothing big. So over the course of three years, my doctor has improved his cholesterol cholesterol levels threefold in un, other inflammatory markers. And he actually showed me his profile while I was in his office. And I felt like he was my client and not I'm his patient. But he's... He's so excited when he meets a professional, he says, you know, I can talk to you about this because you know what you're doing. So we went through his blood profile and it improved tenfolds from what he had before. On top of that, he lost 35 pounds. And he said, it was easy. I just ate healthy. I didn't overeat. I ate mindfully. And I started exercising as much as I can. I'm busy as a doctor, but he says, I feel great. He says, I have more energy than I've ever had. I feel lighter and I, he said, now I need to get a whole new wardrobe of suits because nothing fits anymore. But the most important part he says was that his blood profile had improved so much. So if my doctor, the endocrinologist says, intermittent fasting works, then you know, it actually works, but it's not a quick fix. It's not taking a pill. It is not something that you can achieve till tomorrow or uh, another cleanse that will help you lose weight or another gimmick that leaves foods out of your food group just because you shouldn't be eating them. That's not intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is flexible. So my friend, I'm Heike Yates, a fitness and nutrition coach for empty nester mom over 50, and I'm helping you thrive in your empty nest.